Hi guys, my name is Alicia. If you don't know who I am, I make thrifting videos every single week. I'm here with Emily and my sister. I don't know if she wants to be on camera. Oh, our original plan today was go to go thrifting by the pound, but when we got there, we realized it was closed for the Easter weekend. So new plan, we're actually back at Dixie and Dundas, which me and Emily have been to a while ago thing. now. <laughs> so we're actually parked out front of the Salvation Army right now. So last time we were here, it was pretty good. So let's check it out. Let's go thrifting. Okay, so I'm in the women's jeans. The first thing I'm spotting are these really cool vintage jeans. They've got more of like a flared leg and they're by this brand Bullet, which I've never seen before. Made in Canada, but that's kind of cool. It has like a little bullet attached. And this is why I love Salvation Army. They actually have reasonable prices. Next up, taking a little peek in the skirts. I love this black floral skirt. It's actually made in USA, which is awesome but I'm already seeing some fraying at the bottom, so I don't think it's worth picking up, especially for that price. I'm very out of it right now, just because I was so mentally prepared to be thrifting by the pound, so the fact that I'm in a thrift store right now, I just don't really know what I'm looking for. Taking a look at some of the shoes here, these little like 90s white sandals are pretty cute from the brand Tender Tootsies. I'm pretty sure I saw this brand in the Sears catalog. They're cute, but I'm just gonna put them back very into vintage swimwear lately so i really want to find like a cute little vintage bikini or something they're hard to come by though just because you know bikinis don't typically last that long but you can definitely find them as i was kind of losing hope in the dress section here until i stumbled across this little cutie and at first i thought it could be just fast fashion but i took a closer look and it's actually vintage look how cute this little like baby doll patchwork plaid not really plaid eh, there's some plaid actually super cute it's just a little sheer but i think we're gonna take it this little plaid set is also really adorable with this little vest and like trousers vintage obviously 9.99 honestly not bad for the set i just don't think i could like pull this off properly Okay, this little vintage dress, look at the brand, Whisper, made in USA, very cute. I just am not into animal print, so I will be passing up on this one. This little plaid dress, also very, very cute. We got some pockets and some ties. I'm not like totally in love with it though, so we're gonna leave it. I'm really feeling the summer vibe, so decided to check out the short section. Last year, I made the mistake of buying like way too many shorts and I don't know, I thought they were gonna sell, but they didn't. So I'm gonna be like a lot more selective on what I actually choose. Like these, for example, are really cool. They're vintage, but I don't know. I'm not sure about the blue color. This vintage score, I absolutely love the colors of, look at the vintage tag. It's a little pricey, not gonna lie, but like look at the little slit there. The problem is I have one very similar that hasn't sold, so I don't know. They're like a cute little stretchy pull-on type short. They'd be super comfortable, but I think they're just a little too plain. Emily has been cleaning up way better this than is me. The best thing I, found. I can read. It's so cute. She's That's me. Cute. <laughs> Look at her. Oh my god, I love her. We'll take a peek after. Okay. We're not done yet. We're not done. Taking a look in the women's tank tops, found this super sick little like Y2K made in USA top. Sparkly with the cowl neck, it's so funny because me and Emily actually just recently found a very similar top thrifting, but that's kind of like really expensive, so I'm probably gonna pass up on it. I think last thing I'm gonna look through are the women's like tops, knit tops, that kind of thing. These tend to be very easy to just kind of like skim through and once a pattern jumps out to you, you can kind of take a look at it. Like for example, that's pretty funky actually. 
Okay, this is actually a pretty good find. We got this little vintage Planet Hollywood made in USA for only $3.99. So me and Emily are trying things on. This is the baby doll dress. I just can't tell if it's meant to be a shirt or a dress. Like, is this too short? I don't know. Otherwise, I really like it. I'm not wearing the best outfit to show this one off, but I just realized there's like tie dye on here, which I kind of am vibing with. Oh, Emily found this for me. Ooh, that's really cute. Hmm. We'll consider it. We'll consider it. Look at this cute ass little t shirt Emily found and this skirt. Like, that is a little fit right there. Okay, I think this is everything I'm getting. Honestly, there is a, definitely a color palette going on and I like it. We're ready? We're ready to head out? Yeah. Okay, we're taking one last stop today at the Value Village because we are in the area. So we're just gonna take a peek. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's 30% off dresses at Valley Village this weekend, so we're just kind of like quickly skimming through the dresses to see if we can find anything. Oh, Look at this oh we found a jacket. It's in Toronto. Tornado. Tornado, even. <laughs> this is actually kind of really cute. I don't know if I'm crazy about this. Vintage, but really expensive even with the coupon. Even with the like, coupon. you see this? This is cute, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like this vintage dress is actually so cute made in usa how much is it 10.99 not bad i'm just not sure if it's my style though i have been into these little checkered tiered dresses lately i don't think it's gonna be my size though but it's cute time is up and all i found was this little black t-shirt but it is vintage and i needed one so success so I'm back from the thrift store, ready to give you guys a little haul. That was such an interesting thrift trip because I was totally not planning on going to that store. And somehow I ran into not one, but two of like my online thrifting friends who just so happened to be at that store on the same day. So that was super random, but I'm going to take that as a good sign because I did end up finding some pretty good stuff. I ended up picking up five different things from the Salvation Army and one thing from Value Village. I spent $29.95 at the Salvation Army, meaning that each item on average was about $6, which is honestly so good, so much better than Value Village, and kind of a sign that I really need to go to Salvation Army more often, especially because they don't charge tax, so I think that really, really helps bring the price down. So yeah, I should really try to shop there more often because sometimes I just really hate supporting Value Village. All right, so let's start with tops for this haul and start with the t-shirt I got from Valley Village. This is probably the most boring item, so we're just gonna get it out of the way quickly at the beginning of this haul. But I did pick up this really basic black ribbed t-shirt. Not much to say about it, but basically I was looking for a replacement because I kind of already have one, but it was a little bit too small for me. And it, it also had some other issues. Basically, every time I would wear it, it would just smell really badly of sweat. And the worst part is, I don't think it was my sweat because I did thrift it. So we, we desperately needed a replacement. And already this one feels and looks so much better because of course it's vintage. I'm slowly just trying to make everything in my closet vintage, even if it's just like a basic ass t-shirt. But this one is from the brand By Boot, made in Canada, 100% cotton, which is exactly what you want from a t-shirt. And it is my new perfect basic black tee. And I did have a coupon for Valley Village, a $2 off coupon that I used on this t-shirt. So it ended up only being like five bucks, which isn't bad considering how much they upsell plain basic t-shirts. Moving on, the next top I ended up getting is this one. This is this really cool basic black tank top with the coolest Planet Hollywood graphic on the front. Planet Hollywood is a very like iconic, I guess, a vintage brand, but I feel like they're more known for like their denim jackets. So it was cool to pick up this little tank and it's in really good condition considering it's actually totally vintage made in USA. So such a cool find for only $4. Plus the weather, like today, it is the nicest day out. I am already like fully in the summer mood and this is obviously going to be perfect with summer honestly along with most of the items in this haul for example this super cool button down this is this awesome blue patchwork print button down shirt we've got like patches of tie-dye stripes like tons of different patterns i think it's so cool 
and these in my opinion are the perfect summer outfit you just layer that over a little like crop tank top and some shorts and you are good to go and i didn't notice this till i got home but it actually has some really cool like slits on the sides super exaggerated just an all-around really cool piece and this one is from the vintage brand como this is going to be listed in my shop but i think i might have to get a few wears out of it before i sell it just because it's so cool and like such a good like statement piece and it was only six bucks. Moving on to bottoms, the first thing I picked up is this adorable skirt. It's basically this really nice striped neutral tone skirt. We've got browns, we've got blues. It's got a really cute little slit in the front and then continues as a skirt at the back. So if you want the comfort of a skirt, but the look of a skirt, these are the perfect ones to get with just the spandex shorts underneath. So, so comfy. I just thought this was so cute. It is by the brand Oxford, of course, vintage made in Canada. And it is in a bigger size, so it's definitely gonna be up in my shop. I think it's a 2X or maybe even 3X, which I'm very happy to have found because I don't stumble across those sizes very often. And it was also only $6. Next up, not very summery, but I did pick up a pair of jeans. These are these really nice like mid-wash blue, probably like mid-rise jeans with a super long flared leg. And when I mean super long, I mean like super long. These are probably the longest jeans I have ever purchased because me at five foot five, I am personally drowning in them. <laughs> So I am hoping there is a tall girl out there that can rock these because the tag even says tall girl on it. So, I mean, I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> the back is pretty plain with just like a little classic brown patch. And these are actually from the brand Bullet Jeans, vintage made in Canada. And they actually have like the coolest little detail of an actual little like bullet attached to them, which at first I thought was cool, kind of edgy, but then I don't know if it was giving like hunter vibes or like gun fanatic vibes but i mean whether you think it's cool or not it can be very easily removed off of here so that isn't really a problem and those ones were only six dollars which is honestly such a good price for jeans and then of course i had to save the best for last because this item is probably what made the whole trip like going all the way out there worth it and it is this dress this is this beautiful like black and white patchwork print baby doll style dress so we've got these short sleeves and this short little skirt that really like puffs out i guess i just think this piece is so cool and so on trend considering it's vintage it's definitely a little more sheer which also is really on trend right now so i'm not too worried about that but I just love it. I love that it's black and white. Definitely, you can definitely style it more of like a grungy kind of way. And this is from the brand Classy Collections made in Canada. So I was so happy to find this, especially because for sure I thought this was a modern piece, like for sure, for sure. So I was so pleasantly surprised to see that little vintage tag because I just think this piece is so cool. It was the most expensive item on that trip at $8, but honestly, such a good price for a dress and totally worth it. So that is everything I found on this thrift trip. It wasn't the biggest haul, but I feel like all the pieces are really good. But if you can't get enough of my thrift finds, I've been very active on TikTok and been doing like little mini weekday thrift trips on there. So definitely check it out and stay tuned for another thrifting by the pound video because I definitely did not get my fix from that. So that will be happening soon. And as always, pretty much everything in this haul, except for the black t-shirt is going to be listed in my shop. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you are interested in anything. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Thank you.